Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Book of Hours, shall we? This game is in demo version, and I'm playing it for the Steam Next Fest. The developers of this small team reached out noticing I had recently played Cultist Simulator, and thought I might enjoy this game because I enjoyed that one, and sure enough, it is in the same world as Cultist Simulator, so a lot of the mechanics and themes are going to be familiar. And additionally, this was designed to be more approachable than Cultist Simulator, which is interesting. So I'm excited to see how we take some of the sensibilities of Cultist Simulator and uh, change them to perhaps make it something that uh, is less overwhelming, perhaps, to new players than Cultist Simulator is. Uh, I found it to be a wonderful game that's very deep, and I was lost, but I just consider that to be part of the experience. But I guess maybe they're trying to corral some of that sense of, like, you're discovering and figuring things out um, on your own with lots and lots of possibilities and maybe narrow the focus a little bit. Uh, but I, I'm not entirely sure, so I'm excited to dive in, and let's do that right now. Okay, so it says, Brand Krug, March 7th, 1936. There has been no librarian at Hush House since the fire. Seven years now. Suitable candidates are very difficult to find, but perhaps we have found one in you. Take care on your journey. The seas around... Bran Krug are treacherous. We're at St. Brandon's Cove. The fishermen of Bran Krug Village beach their boats here each night. The sea does not regret the tide, and after the tide withdraws, something always remains, which we call memory. It's true of storms, too. All right, fantastic. So, you know, um, this is going to be one of these very cool narrative games set in this, um, you know, post-flapper era now, you know, this kind of like Lovecraftian supernatural, mysterious type of atmosphere, which is sensational. I'm looking at the board. I see I've got card slots up here, um, and I've got something going on here with an eyeball and a number three. Um, there looks to be some kind of settings, play, fast forward, rewind, wisdoms, memories, elements of the soul, skills, and sundries. Okay, let's go. Let's click on this. The cold comes first. Thunder growling, waves pounding, and finally me sprawled on the sodden sand of the beach. There's something in my hand. Okay, so I just, you know, woke up on the beach. Rough night. Got some stuff in my hand. Let's collect them. All right. What do I have left to work with? I'm trying to remember something and I can salvage. Okay, so this is very much uh, in the spirit of Cultist Simulator. So we can take some of the limited knowledge. I have not played that game very extensively. I've only streamed it twice and it's awesome. And I've been helped a lot by amazing people from the community on stream and in the YouTube comments about the game. So... Generally, you know, if I double-click this, it should tell me what I can play in this slot. It says anything that matches the aspects below can go in this slot. So these are the aspects. So there is, like, Shark Man, Starfish, and Star Brain. I'm just... Those are the technical names. I'm just giving them to you as I make them up. All right, and it looks like we have a memory here, which is a storm card. We have our health, which um, is... Uh, half down, but the timer is ticking down on it. And I have this package, okay? Uh, so I have a drowned book. The one possession I kept from the shipwreck. It must be important to me. And you can see that it has this shark icon, so we can put this in the salvage? Perhaps this book can help me put the pieces together. Okay, and um, what's left? And it needs to be the storm didn't take everything. Uh, it probably is going to be my memory. Let's click on this. And it has a starfish icon, so we can play it in this slot. 
memory storm. There are storms great enough to shake the moon from the sky and one's thoughts from one's skull. All right, then. So let's go ahead and drag the storm up here. And so we're going to be like remembering the book with the horrifying thunderstorm that shipwrecked us. There was a storm. It smashed the ship like an egg, but I seized this book and the sea seized me. Then the sea brought me here to Brandkrug. All right. Fantastic. You know, and as we're by the ocean, by the sea, the sea is transporting us and carrying us here. Of course, uh, the sea is this traditional metaphor of the unconscious. And, you know, we are perhaps victims of a dream or of fate or of both. And here we are. So I can click start to process this event, I suppose. And we'll do that. And it's taking some time, but you can see it ticking through here. And these two elements are being used. And we have received some stuff back from thinking about our book in our remembrance. And we'll collect it. And we can salvage again. Okay? So I'm going to, you know, you can move this box around. So I'll just move it around. And uh, you can zoom in a and now a little bit on the game board, but here we are in the cove, and we're just trying to get our memory back. Now my health, I'm half drowned, so you can see it's going to recover at some point. Um, but let's click again here so we can use Shark Starfish Mind, and let's see what, if any of these apply to that. So this um, FET is fatigued. That part of us which dreams chore is fatigued. Exuberance instinct, rhythm. This is um, also playable here. And then shapped. Eloquence and understanding. The door opens both ways. Indeed. The doors swing both ways. ACDC, as it were. All right. So, uh, I don't know. Um, let's go ahead with uh, exuberance and see if we can salvage this. Yes, that's me. What else is me? So let's try to remember. Um, now my health is freezing. All right, so I'm trying to get it back. Uh, oh, you know what? I can't do that activity. I can salvage, and I need to keep salvaging. Um, well, it does say anything can go into that slot that matches these aspects, and this has this aspect, so um, if I put it here, but I can't start it, says what else is me I mean I don't know and should I put the book back here wisdoms oh okay oh boy I don't know what this is the tree of wisdoms scholars and adepts recognize nine wisdoms though they disagree where one wisdom ends and another begins something for me to think about oh wow it's like a big kind of sphere grid tech tree thing like path of exile or something all right use the cursors uh the cursor keys to traverse the tree oh yeah i can move it around like this okay um interesting so what goes here um rescue journal my memories lie curled in my journal like a seed in winter earth once you've rescued and read your journal use it to unlock the tree well let's use it um no, I haven't rescued it and unlocked it yet. Okay, so let's go back to uh, the world, I suppose. I don't have this. I don't have... Um, it says uncatalogued, so I need to figure that out. So let's go back to the world and close this window and say, okay, we're remembering stuff right now. So let's see. We can salvage... Um, I guess I can put, if I double click this, it doesn't go into salvage, but I can put it here and I can remember it with this maybe. Okay. So let's remember our book with these different aspects. The human soul has nine parts, exuberance, enthusiasm, instinct, all rise from that part of the soul we call core or chore. It is my chore strong. Recover this. The other two will be lost to the sea for now. Oh, you have to make a choice. 
So it looks like you have to pick one of these three. Um, so you can pick uh, the dreaming part, uh, eloquence and understanding, and you can pick exuberance, instinct, and rhythm. Uh, so it's kind of like, I guess, if we were thinking about Cultist Simulator, you have, you know, like mental, you have physical, and you have passion. Uh, so this would be the physical. Um, so let's go with exuberance. Let's be really exuberant. All right, I'm going to go for it. And we're going to run this out. Um, and it's going to take nine seconds to do that. Okay. So, or five seconds, rather. Okay. Uh, oh, looks like I could explore some stuff on the map itself, too. Um, Brankrung Village, Sanctuary in the Storm. Now, this isn't moving. Why did it stop? Did I pause the game? I paused it. I need to push spacebar to unpause it. Um, this is pause play. Okay, we got it. This is the coast where Brankrung Isle lies. It wasn't easy to come here, but I don't give up easily. Even so, I know there's no way I could cross to the isle in these seas. I'll need to find shelter for the night. Okay, let's collect it all. And we got the core card. And we also have metal, which is, you know, we're fatigued. And our wist is fatigued. And our fost is fatigued. And we have a reb also, which is fatigued. Okay. So the village says it's the sanctuary in the storm. I'll need to help to climb the cliffs in the dark. And the locals are suspicious of outsiders more than ever since the restoration and the new king. Okay. Restoration and the king. Touche. Um, guidance. Okay. So one last time. Depend upon the kindness of strangers like Blanche Dubois. All right. So if I want to do that, I don't have these things. I don't have, um, a s well, like, Assistance. The librarian lives alone, but there's no shame in seeking assistance from others. Okay. Um, skeptical. Trust can be bought or earned. And sky. Wind, storm, echo, song, the intricacies of mathematics, and the principles of flight. Law's touch is lighter than we sometimes think. Okay. So, uh, matters of balance, harmony, and necessity. I think I just need to keep remembering stuff. You know, one of the things about, at least with Cultist Simulator, that I learned from the little I played is that you just don't figure everything out. It's all part of the mystery. You just kind of, it emerges as you play. And so we need to start exploring and keeping to remember our, our book. We need to salvage this. And we can now salvage it with um, Sky, apparently. Uh, but I don't know how to do that yet. What if I use chore um, on here? My new thing. This book helped me remember something. What else is there? Alright. But this already has been used. So let's try this. Um, metal is the soul's tempering will. Self-discipline. That part of us which makes the right choice. Okay, so now we need to choose. So we chose between the three that we found. And now we need to choose. Do we want metal, whist, Arab or Faust, I suppose. So, do we want sight, perception, inspiration? Do we want pride, compassion, hatred, and fear? Do we want name, memory? Um, and do we want metal, the capacity for meaningful choice? Um, I'm going to go for Faust, I suppose. I like sight, perception, inspiration. I'll go for that. I'll make this choice. And it says, Faust is the light within. Sight, perception, inspiration. And we're going to go for it. I'm going to choose it. So we're making choices to determine our beginning. I don't know, I mean, if this is a roguelike as well. Uh, like Cultist Simulator, like it's going to be a random game. We'll figure it out. Okay. So we now have a Faust card. I'm going to pause the game so I can read this. By the way, I keep meaning to forget to pause... It's nice because my health is recovering, but I don't want the game to get out of my control while I'm still trying to understand it. Perhaps here I'll find safety from what follows me, but what was that exactly? First things first. I remember there's someone in the village, 
who will give me sanctuary if I can get there. Okay. Um, so, we're remembering that somebody lives in this village where we've crashed. Mysteries have been added to your journal. You can begin to investigate them when you and your journal are both dry. So it's kind of like, again, you know, comparing it to Cultist Simulator. These are my verbs over here. Um, remembering, and I've got another action. But they're not like on the game board. The, the interface has been cleaned up. And perhaps that's the attempt to make it more approachable. Uh, so we've got Faust, we've get our journal back, and we got something new. So let's collect it. And we got a sundry, an old friend's address. So what we can now do is consider. So it's now no longer remembering, it's changed into consider. And we also can look for shelter. Um, and it says Brankrunk Village must be nearby, but it's hard going. Dragging my soaked body across the soaked sand in the teeth of the wind. Which way? All right, so let's collect this. And we got a memory of fear. And help. Uh, we need to muster our strength. So I'm going to close this for now. And I'm going to look at this. This is an old friend's address. It's got the telephone icon and the lantern. And it, remember, if you ever want more tips about these or what they might work with there's clues provided in the text life is a pure flame and we live by an invisible sun within us thomas brown okay i believe i opened the first time i played cult of simulator i think i started a cult with the principle of the lantern maybe if i'm remembering that correctly um the telephone is what even in this remote place one can meet friends or make new enemies great I don't want enemies. I'm all alone on the beach with no memory. <laughs> I need I need allies. All right, and the memory fear says the oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear, and the oldest and strongest kind of fear is one of the unknown, says Lovecraft. Um, right, and so I just said it was Lovecraft, and of course it is. And, you know, in Lovecraft stories, that's one of the things he was all about is exploring these mysteries, Egyptian, other kinds of occult, you know, kind of things out there that we didn't know about to prey upon exactly that. And, you know, they say that actually the only fear is the fear of the unknown. And once you know it, no longer fear at all. But I don't know if that's true. That's just what I heard. And I'm going to think about considering something. So let's consider our journal, I suppose. And can I glean anything from this book? Now, this does not play with this. Um, and we can just... We don't need to combine it with anything right now. But we could also consider Faust, right? So let me take this back for a moment. And um, it could be question mark, um, light bulb, book, or star. And this is um, light lantern not light bulb so it doesn't work there so i can't play this here um and it says i can't put that here it's got to have cash skill readable or memory okay and this does have memory so i could consider my chore oh wait am i i'm looking at that right oh yeah it doesn't have the that's not memory i thought the brain with the star inside was memory um okay and this doesn't work. So the only thing I can really consider is this. And so let's do it. And that'll run when I unpause it. And what other... I can take help. And so I'm... Let me see what I can play here. I can play these different things, okay? So I don't have everything. And I can just use my old friend's address, I suppose. Um, I could also maybe have considered my fear, but let's go ahead and do this. Um, oh, I have to, ha it has to have all three aspects. Okay, so I'm missing this winter aspect. Okay, so that does not work at the moment. All right, then no problem. Let's go ahead and um, I don't have this yet either. So let's go back to the world and click on that to dismiss it. And I'm just going to unpause it. And we got something done. I'm going to pause it. Uh, I can't glean anything from this book until I've dried it out carefully. So I'll collect it. So I got rejected. 
So can we consider our memory? Yes. Am I alone here? Um, now we can't because we can't start it. So I can put it there, but I'm unable to start it. So let's see. Uh, what do I want to reflect on? The old friend's address? No. Foss? No. Core? No. My health? No. Okay. Um, help? Core? Oh, it could go here. Okay, great. So I'm just like seeing what cards... So this has all three of those aspects? Um, apparently it does. I, I tried to put this here, but it says a thing may only go here if it has all three of these aspects. Element of the soul. Oh, oh, element of the soul. And this has... Oh, I see. Uh, all three of the aspects. Okay. But it doesn't need this. Anyway, let's do it. Something in the wind? My instinct tells me it might be this way. And without a map, instinct is as good... A compass as any. Alright. Um, let's do it. And let's unpause it. It's going to take 10 seconds. And we're following our chore instinct. The cliffs grow dark against the ragged stars. And then at last I see the light of a hurricane lamp bobbing in the dark. As it approaches, a face glimmers above the lamp. Boom, collected. Hey, the fisherman. And now we can talk, although not in the library, please. All right, so we found this guy, a fisherman from Brankung Village. He can guide me up the cliff path if he trusts me. Okay, so can we talk to him? And he says, come no closer. What's thy business, so I, maybe I can give him my old friend's address. What does he want here? He wants a, a contact, a, a, you know, so we've got this to go by. I think it's the only telephone that we have, yeah. I could tell him about my fears. How about this? Be someone that'll speak for E? Of course, since 1930 and the Restoration, the locals have grown ever more suspicious of foreigners, but there is someone in Brankrog I know, so let's talk to him about this. Be like, dude, I know someone, I'm an insider, you can trust me, and he's down with it. He's like, oh yeah, maybe. Move around on the map here. I'll take ye by the cliffs then. He is no longer skeptical, so we're through. And now, we can um, approach the, the cliff. So, you know, I want to see if there's, is there anything else on the game board? I can do this to click on it. Um, I can... Cross Wood Sands. Brankrug is a tidal island. At low tide, you could walk there, though you probably shouldn't. Um, so we could go to the village through the sands or up the to the village. Yeah, I don't think we can get to the sands right now because we don't know someone. But you can see that there's like different... When I mouse over, there's different regions on the game board. And... At least that's how I'm interpreting it. I'm going to go ahead and put the fisherman here and open it. And we found the village. Awesome. Brankrung Village. This quiet Cornish fishing village has lain long in the isle's shadow. It might be as old as Hush House itself. And like Hush House, Brankrung Village has provided sanctuary over the years for its share of misfits and exiles. All right, then. I did not know that. Misfits in exile. So there's all kinds of places we can go. So it's interesting. It's It seems like what they, you know, one of the design choices perhaps was to, to remove some of the cards from Cultist Simulator. Like, you know, that had location cards that you could go to, and that had verb tiles that you could use. But it looks like they're kind of like reducing some of the cards and making it more uh, intuitive visual experience. Like I see a post office a rectory, um, what is that, a bookshop or something? Uh, so these places are now just on the map itself instead of the cultist simulator, which was just like a blank, you know, kind of wood table with a play mat, like a tabletop game. Okay, anyway, um, all right, we're in. 
And let's see, so I can click on the post office and it says the postmistress may have something for me once I know what to ask for. And the rectory is locked. And this Mr. and Miss, um, Mrs. and Mr. Kill, okay. Um, that's a foreboding name. This is the Sweet Bones. Is that the inn? Or the restaurant? I don't know if I want to eat at a place called the Sweet Bones. That's... We'll find out. Um, and then this is the Smithy. It's locked. Okay. And these are the stars. And let's see, is there anything else in town that I can check out? Uh, this is all Sweet Bones. The post office is the only place it looks like I can click to. Okay, so let's click on it. The postmistress may have something for me, so what does she want? Or she would like shark and... Or she doesn't want this, so maybe it can't have this? I'm soaked. Intervene quickly but not hastily. Um, and then journal and readable. All right, so what can I put here? Um, can I give the this... It have journal or readable. Well, here, can you have my journal? Oh, but it, the journal is still too wet. So, I gotta dry it out. So, I need like a... I don't know, fire or something? Do do do. Um, let me go to this. Can I consider or... Can I... Do that? No. No. Okay. Um, I can't talk to... Right now, can I consider, uh, this? No. Not really. And... I gotta take that out. And put this here. Maybe if I keep considering it, it will dry off? I don't know. Um... Okay. Can I go anywhere else? Let me look at this. I got the post office. Um, it says it's locked, but... Maybe I can go to it anyway. You need an introduction or a mutual acquaintance marked with Edge, Forge, or Grail. Oh, okay, so he won't even... He he down with this, or... Nah, he's like, no, thank you. Maybe, though, I can unlock one of these with... Yes, okay. Um... My old friend's address, so even though it said locked, I could still play the card there. And the clergyman comes out, and he's like, Good heavens, what happened? How did you come here? All right, so this is... I'm going to click on this again, just to get the information. Reverend Timothy is a hospitable soul, but Terence, his housekeeper, guards her employer fiercely. Okay, she doesn't want Terence... Is a... Okay, anyway, she doesn't want his innocent theological enthusiasms getting him in trouble with the new king's men. You need an introduction or a mutual acquaintance marked with lantern, knocker, sky. So we have this and it's marked with lantern, so we can go here. Good heavens, what happened? How did you come here? All right, so the shelter um, says we need shelter. Cards and objects can go here, but not all cards or all objects. Let's use the journal, maybe? Nope. Um, it needs the winter aspect. Me? My health? Yes, I'm freezing. Oh, look at this. Some new stuff has appeared. Reverend Timothy flutters fussily while Terence, the housekeeper, busies herself with practicalities. She shows me to a warm room at the top of the house where a fire is already made up. Well, this is great. We're getting some hospitality. Fantastic. Okay. Um, and we're waiting. You can see the progress bar on the location actually filling up, as does the wheel. So even if I, like, close this, I could see the progress of this task unfolding. And take shelter at the rectory is now the action we want. And, um, Reverend Timothy is touchingly excited to meet his correspondent in person. I am still too exhausted to hold up my end of the conversation, and Terence is not a talkative woman, but the Reverend can talk for three at last, however, he suddenly realizes how exhausted I am and lets me sleep. Collect. Reverend Timothy's words always run ahead of him, but his thoughts always catch up. So we got memory of foresight, wits forge, and fire blast meanings, press and screw. Coolridge on Dunn's poetry. Okay, so 
STC, Samuel Taylor Coolridge, um, talking about John Donne. And, right, like, so... Poets, scholars of the time, literary critics, T.S. Eliot, Samuel Taylor Coolidge, you know, Victorian, and these kind of more modern writers who are looking back at John Donne and the metaphysical poets, John Donne, you know, arguably being the, the finest of the bunch, were lamenting as modernists did this period when religion kind of was less problematically connected and was not fractured from, you know, the collective consciousness by Nietzsche or just science. And so we're maybe going backward into that time in this place with this memory a unified period. So, what do we do with Timothy? He says the study, we can talk to him, and he's always pleased to see us, but let me click on this memory. It actually has um, a two badge on it, meaning we have two of them. That's what it means. So we have two of these memories. So let's see if we can consider this memory. Um... Not yet. I can't start it just yet. All right, but this is open, so we can go here and we can talk to him um, maybe about our memory. It has to have element of the soul. Okay, so what is element of the soul? Memory, fear, Faust. Okay, we can talk to him about Faust. Let me see if there's anything else. Health, no, and this, no. So it's just Faust. So... Um, Reverend Timothy's door is always open. He will offer help for free as a friend. So we can study this with him. And let's do that. Um, and so we're going to be talking to him about Faust. And we'll just let it go as we have a discussion. We're now warmed up, though. Oh, so I can go back to considering my journal So it, because I think it's dried out. Maybe I can even use it at the post office at this point. Um, so we've fatigued our Faust, and this is like Cultus Simulator, like if you use one of your primary attributes, uh, health, in this case I also have Faust, it becomes tired for a bit, and it has to recover. But we got... Reverend Timothy's words always run ahead of him. Um, oh, I lost... Uh, let me go back. Oh, I can't go back. I think I lost the text that was connected with this, because I was, you know, too busy, excited about getting the card. Um, so I'm going to close this, uh, and Rector's assistants, Reverend Timothy, so he's now, um, a buddy of ours. Rector of Brandkrug, obtained by the Church of the Unconquered Son, Learned Man, Blessed, uh, in the Tally, the Gate, and the Light. Make use of the Rector's help before dawn. Now, I don't know why he goes in the sundries category. Like, isn't that a friend? I mean, I thought sundries were like items that you used at your disposal, but maybe that's the kind of like horribly cynical outlook we have on human relationships. I, I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, or they, I just don't understand the word sundries properly, which is probably more accurate. Okay, let's go ahead here. And now I can consider the journal because it's dry. Um, but maybe I can go to the post office and, and present it. Um, oh, it's still soaked. Okay, I'm dry. Or I'm warm, rather, but it's not dry yet. Okay. Interesting. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to continue, obviously, you know, we can talk again. We can talk to the rector, um, perhaps, right? And we can, you know, proceed this. And what you do is just go around and see what cards you can play. And then as the game opens up, you'll have more options that you can make. I'm going to pause the game because I don't want too much time to pass, right? We want these things to be recovered, but it doesn't look like it's as time intensive as Cultist Simulator. Like, these are not wearing off on cooldown based on time, but maybe based on activities that I take. So it's less about like sequencing things and doing multiple tasks at once and kind of like managing your time and all of this stuff. Maybe it's a different kind of experience um, in that. And, you know, uh, 
I really, really like uh, what I see so far. I think it's a fascinating spin on it. And, of course, I'm intrigued by the mystery. I'm pulled in by the story, and I want to know. Um, and I, I think it's coming to life a little bit more with just seeing the town and seeing some of this and gating some of your options right at the start of the game really does help as well uh, with the approachability, I feel. And um, I really want to know what you guys think of seeing this much of the demo. Like, are you interested? Do you want to see me play more? Have you played this yourself? Uh, the demo is free to download if you want to check it out. Um, if you're a cultist simulator person or a Sunless Sea person, like, what are your thoughts and feelings? So just in the comments below, let's chat about this game and see where we're at with it. But I have to say, I really like what I see so far. I'm always happy to play games from, you know, small teams that are just, you know, magical and intriguing. And this is definitely uh, one of those. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care.